Meanwhile, India has reported 75 cases of the coronavirus. Meanwhile, as the coronavirus continues to infect more and more people in South Asia, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi has called for regional cooperation to combat the outbreak. In a series of tweets, Prime Minister Modi highlighted how South Asia is home to a large population and portion of the world's population. He urged the countries in the neighborhood to not leave any stone unturned in ensuring that its people are not infected. Prime Minister Modi touted a joint strategy by all SARC leaders to battle COVID-19. He suggested a video meeting between leaders of the SARC nations to chalk out a strategy for South Asia. Sources from Pakistan are now telling us that uh, this gesture from the Indian Prime Minister is being seen in a quote-unquote positive light by the authorities in Islamabad. Sources tell that Prime Minister Modi's offer for a video meeting will be discussed during Pakistan's National Security Council meeting, which will be held in a short while from now. We are joined by our Pakistan Bureau Chief, Anas Malik, uh, for more on this. Anas, uh, how has Islamabad taken Prime Minister Modi's offer for a joint cooperation of all SARC nations to battle the coronavirus? Well, Shobit, Islamabad is taking it for the, t for the time being uh, with a pinch of salt, but in a positive direction. That is what the government sources have been telling us. Uh, I have been, ha I have happened to sp have spoken to uh, top government sources, and they say that the matter will be taken up in the National Security Committee meeting in a while from now. That is to take place at the Pakistani Prime Minister House in a while from now, where the three services chiefs, the DG, ISI, or, you know, or the DG of the Inter Inter Services Intelligence and Chief Minister of Sindh, along with uh, other. Key uh, key uh, federal ministers will be present. Now, any decision on this uh, on, on this uh, will be taken into consultations with consultations. This is what the Pakistani government sources are telling us, and we're expecting a, a headway or any sort of decision, be that be a yes or no, uh, in some hours from now. Remember, uh, in about uh, 30 minutes from now, or roughly uh, 20 minutes from now, the National Security Committee is to meet. And I, while I was standing, I just saw a motorcade of the naval what what, what looked like the motorcade of the Pakistani naval chief that had passed by to going towards the PMO. So uh, what I understand is that uh, uh, he's also under, he's also going towards the National Security Committee meeting to attend the National Security Committee meeting. If I take if I take you around, I can see police deployment all around, uh, uh, police wardens around. So who, those who have to control tra traffic primarily because of the movement of these dignitaries. Having said that, uh, the Pakistani Ministry of Foreign Affairs yesterday, when I questioned them, they said that uh, uh, the spokesperson uh, Aisha Faruqi said that they would see and uh, they would want to work with neighboring countries and they would see whatever that could be done with regards to assistance to of uh, Pakistani nationals and those uh, countries in the neighborhood. So uh, there have been some indications from Islamabad, some positive indications from Islamabad. And as uh, government sources are saying that this tweet is being taken in a positive manner, primarily because uh, uh, it focuses on SARC. That is something that Pakistan has been baiting about. And then obviously coronavirus that has been uh, the, the pandemic that has that has affected South Asia by and large in 21 cases have come to light uh, in Pakistan as of now. So uh, the decision on this will be taken with, with, after consultations, in consultations, and it will be uh, it is likely to be taken in about an hour right. from now when the National Security Committee meets. Right. Sure. Anas, uh, tell us what's the situation on the ground in Pakistan, how many cases are there currently, and uh, what's Pakistan's action plan as far as containing the virus is concerned? Well, the action plan will be discussed in the National Security Committee. If, if I take you through individually, the KP government just, the KP cabinet, the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa government just met a while ago, and they have decided to shut down schools. They've decided to take a number of actions. Similarly, the Sindh government has announced that it, it is uh, clo closing down schools until 31st of May. That would include summer vacations, uh, Eid and Ramzan holidays as well. Uh, the the uh, Punjab government is yet to uh, uh, issue any directives on with regards to education institutions. The Balochistan government has already issued uh, uh, directives and they have f f closed down schools until the 30th of March. Additionally, Punjab is the only province to have imposed a medical emergency. Uh, the Pakistani Prime Minister will be convening the National Security Committee, will be, which will be taking into consideration of putting a blanket ban on large public gatherings that might include uh, PSL matches, the Pakistan Super League cricket matches, uh, cricket Super League matches to go without crowds. We're seeing eight foreign players have uh, withdrawn from the PSL as well. Additionally, we might see the imposition of national health emergency in Pakistan. So all eyes, all eyes 
on the National Security Committee meeting that is to be taken in a while from now. As of now, 21 cases have come to light from Pakistan, uh, one being that uh, which is the most alarming one to the authorities, that it is what it happens to be is a locally transmitted disease. And if at all this uh, virus has indeed spread within the community, then it would be alarm bells. It, it is raising alarm bells for the Pakistani government and Pakistani government would want to do utmost to, to, to prevent its further uh, spread. And that is the reason we're seeing the National Security Committee convening today and in a while right. from now, they will be taking key decisions. Yes, Shobit. Anas Malik, thank you so much for joining us uh, live from Pakistan, getting us all the updates. Uh, remember Anas reporting that Pakistan has seen it in positive light, Prime Minister Modi's proposal to jointly fight the coronavirus as far as all SARC nations is concerned.